Drafts is an excellent tool for journaling because it works with plain text and it's always in your pocket. Moreover, with some of the cool drafts automation, you can really build a journaling system. We're going to do that in this video. Let's start out just by building a simple manual journal entry. So I've got a new draft here and I'm going to start typing. So first we'll give it a journal entry name and then I'm going to put in the date. And then I'm going to put some journal entries in. The first one I usually put in is the daily priority. Every day there's one thing I want to make sure I get done. That's my daily priority. And today it's going to be making the drafts videos. Another thing I always try to do in the morning is write something down that I'm grateful for. So I just call that gratitude. And today when I woke up, my puppy was there and very happy to see me. And I'm grateful for my puppy. Another thing I like to put in my daily journal is daily wins and lessons learned. And I write these down at the end of the day. Because most days I have something that went okay, and most days I learn something. And finally, I'll have additional thoughts. So there's my daily journal, and I've got some good prompts for myself and a way to track all this. Because Drafts works on the Mac, the iPhone, and the iPad, I can work on this journal entry throughout the day, and with my iPhone in my pocket, I can take it out and add to it anytime I want. I'm going to finish this part by adding a tag to it. We're going to call it journal. So now I've got the journal tag applied. And that gives me some additional power as I head into some automation. For instance, one of the things I'm going to want to do is to have a journal workspace. So let's make one. I'm going to go to the workspaces. And I'm going to tap on manage workspaces. I'm going to create a new one. And this one is going to be called journal. And I'm going to make it gray. And then I'm going to select an icon for it. I like this one right here. And tap done. So we've created a new workspace called journal. We're going to use tag filtering. So it's going to look for any entry with the word journal in the tag. And then that's going to add it to this workspace. And that's all I need to do. So if I go back. And I look at the journal entry, you see there's that journal entry I just prepared. So that's a simple way to create journal entries with drafts. But we're going to automate that more in this next step so we can create template entries and take some of the tedium out of creating your daily journal entry. Let's head over to the iPad. Okay, now I'm over on the iPad. You can see that in my drafts list, we've got that journal entry we just made on the iPhone. But we want to automate that process. We don't want to make it so you have to type in all those titles every time you make a new journal entry. You can do that easily on drafts with a template. So I'm going to hit the shift key and select all of this text because we're going to add it to our template and hit command C. So now I've copied it. I'm going to go over to the right action menu here and I'm going to hit the plus button and say we're going to create a new action. The entry at the bottom there. I'll tap on that and let's make a new action. And we're going to call this journal entry. And again, we're going to give it an icon. And we're going to give it that bookmark icon. And once again, make it gray. And because this is an action, it's going to need to have steps. And you can see currently there are zero steps in this action. If I tap on that, then I hit the plus button. There's a lot of action steps available in drafts, and there's so much you can do with this, you know, sending mail and messages or sharing, saving to the file system or putting on Twitter. There's a lot of power in drafts, but one of the simple ones that I use all the time is insert text. So I'm just going to tap insert text, and then I've got those words saved in my clipboard that I just copied, so I'll hit paste, and now I'm going to put those in. And you can see there they are, but you know, this is going to be a daily entry. So we're not going to have um, entries already built in. So we'll have daily priority, but you want to write it in and gratitude, but it's not going to say puppy every day. So you want to be able to fill these in. I'm also going to give these some markdown headings. So one pound sign for heading one and two for heading two. And we'll give the rest of these heading two. 
make sure you put a space in between the pound signs and the words, or they won't register as headings. There we go. And so I'm ready to go, except one thing here. I've got this journal entry date, and I don't have the date filled in. And when I just did it for you manually, I had to type the date in. But that's something we could clearly automate. So let's do that. And then I'm going to add a date string. This is something you can get online. They even explain it at the drafts website, but it's two brackets with date, then percentage sign Y, capital Y to get the full year and four digits, then a dash, then percentage sign M to get the month, and then percentage sign D to get the date. And then I close that off with two brackets at the end. And then that'll put the date in for us. So we've got a nice template here that's going to give us the journal entry date plus the um, daily priority, gratitude, and daily wins. In fact, I don't think I like the word date there. I'm going to remove that. It's going to be obvious. It's going to be date. So I'll say journal entry and then put a couple dashes. And then I think that'll look nicer. So that's going to put in the date plus year plus month plus day with a dash between each. I just noticed a mistake I made here. That shouldn't be a closed bracket. That should be a pipe. So that'll give me the date. And then I've got, you know, the headings and the date and everything's looking good. Uh, I'm going to go back out. This is a one step action, but there's one last thing I want to do. And if you scroll down, you can see there's a lot of power you have with these actions. Like for instance, after success, where does the draft text go? Do you put it in the archive or the trash or do you ask? I'm just going to leave it with the default behavior. And you can even apply tags. And just a minute ago, I applied a journal tag to that first journal entry. Well, I want that to happen on all journal entries, and I want it to happen automatically. So by assigning the tag right here, now I've got it putting the tag in. If I have multiples, I could put a comma in here if I wanted to say daily or whatever. But I just want one tag for a journal. And I'm going to click Save. And the existence of that tag is going to allow this to connect to the workspace. So I'll click Done. And we've got this entry that we already created. We're going to make a new one now. And then I'm going to go to this action directory and click journal entry. This is the thing we just made. And look at that. It says journal entry with heading one. It's got today's date in there. And then daily priority, gratitude, daily wins, lessons learned, and additional thoughts. And then you can go ahead and fill this in. And you can run this every morning and have your journal prepared for you. And now I'm going to go back over to the workspaces and activate the journal workspace. And when I see that, you'll see there are the two journal entries that I've tagged with the word journal, one manually and one automatically through this new action. And I've got an easy way to get to all of my journal entries. Now, just because you make journal entries in drafts doesn't mean that you have to keep them there. I do. I think it's a good place. I like it because it syncs everywhere and I can put this, this workspace together. But if you've got another app, let's say you're using day one, you can have it export to day one. And to do that, you just get an action. So I'm going to hit the plus sign down here and go to the action directory. And I'm going to search for day one. And the beauty of drafts is almost any action you can think of, someone has already written for you. And here's this one, day one import, that's made by Agile Tortoise, the developer. So that's the one I'm going to use. I'll click on it and say install. Open in drafts, yes. And I'm going to put that in the sample actions list. And you can see there's the nice day one entry. So I could ship this straight into the day one app on my Mac just by clicking this button. A lot of people also put journal entries into Dropbox, and it works the same way. So we'll just go to the action directory one more time, and I'm going to say Dropbox. And again, we just want to get a send to Dropbox action, and I'm going to use the one from Agile Tortoise. Um, they've got a couple of these here. There's one here, Save to Dropbox, which will just save the file to Dropbox. But they've also got one here made specifically for journals, and that's also by Agile Tortoise. And this one will append to a rolling monthly journal file in Dropbox. So if you've got a journal file created in Dropbox, you can add to it. I just want to save the file to Dropbox, though, so I'm just going to use that one. 
I'll click this and install. Add to drafts and put it in the sample actions. And now you can see I've got saved to Dropbox day one or just create the journal entry right there. And finally, I'm going to take these entries and just kind of swipe them into the archive so I don't have to see them in my inbox. That creates a little bit of an issue with this workspace because you can see I've got the journal workspace showing, but I don't see journal entries anymore. And that's because of the way I set this workspace up. I'm going to go down to the workspaces. I'm going to manage the journal workspace. And if I go and scroll to the bottom, you can see that you can decide what area it makes the selection from. Is it just the inbox, the flag, the archive items, or all? I'm going to go ahead and put all. And that way, if I have journal entries in the inbox or the archive, they will still show up in this workspace. And that's all you need to do. And I do that with a lot of my uh, workspaces that are based on a single tag, like journal entries. So now I'm going to go back and click done on that. And then when I go to trigger the journal workspace again, you can see there it is. It looked at all sources and it found my two journal entries again. Uh, lastly, I want to show you how to put that workspace onto a widget. Let's do that over on the iPhone. Here I am over on my iPhone and I've already got some drafts of widgets on the screen. I'm going to add a couple more. So I'm going to hit the little plus button at the top corner and I'm going to go down to drafts. And you can see all these different options I have for drafts widgets. There's some big ones and some small ones. I actually like this one right here, this small one, which I can attach to a particular uh, workspace. So I'm going to put it in. It's, by default, it is the inbox. So there it is. But if I long press it and then say edit widget, then I can change what it looks for. And in this case, I'm going to look for the journals. And um, so there now it's a button that gets me to my journals. And if I tap on that, you can see there they are. While I'm on drafts from my iPhone, if I hit that action button, you can see all of those actions I added over on the iPad, journal entry, day one, save to Dropbox, they're all already installed on my iPhone. Real simple. All those workflows are equally valid on the Mac. Here I am on drafts for the Mac, and you can see I've got on the right side the journal entry and day one and save to Dropbox actions available to me. If I create a new entry and I want to turn that into a journal entry, I just tap the button and it creates it for me just like that. I'm going to make this B since I've already got one for today. But you can see it's already tagged and all of the headings and prompts are there just like we saw on the iPhone and iPad. If I go to workspaces, you'll see that also the journal workspace is still there as well. And now there's three entries in it. I can go back to any of the ones I worked on earlier and update them right on my Mac. So with just a little bit of work, you can create a really sophisticated journaling system on drafts. And the beauty of it is that drafts is everywhere. It's in your phone, it's in your iPad, it's on your Mac. It's always with you, and it's super easy to capture text into it, which is the biggest barrier for so many of us when it comes to journaling. Download drafts today and check it out.